The Benjamin Dixon Show is only possible with listener support. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash the BPD show. Thank you for joining us at the Benjamin Dixon Morning Show. I am excited about everything that's happening here at the show. Most of all, we just want to thank you. I want to thank you. I want to thank all of the patrons. Um, I want to thank all of the supporters. I want to pause and recognize all of the people who have been with us through this journey. 2021 was a hell of a year. That's all I have to say. Uh, and that's all I'll say about it. But what I do want to say is that we're here. The Benjamin Dixon Morning Show, On the Clock with Georgia Ford. Like it or not, with Rebecca Zor and DJ Exclusive. And This Day in Black History with Dr. Carl Mack. We're here every single morning for you, the people. And uh, we're here for Black people. We're here to be a community space, a space where no matter who you are, you can come and you can be comfortable and you can talk about the news. Here's the thing. We talk about the news every day. We talk about the seriousness of these issues. We do that heavy lift every single day. But the most important thing that we do every single day is spend time with you. And so this is what the morning show is about. The morning show is about taking this time to break the news to you without breaking you. Because the news is, well, it's enough to break you. It's enough if you really pay attention to everything that's going on. If you really absorb the nature of the absurdity that Dr. Mack and I were talking about yesterday in the first segment, we were talking about how many people will ignore the truth in order to protect their hermetically sealed political ideology. In other words, we are now at a stage in American decline where people are dying for their politics. I mean, this is really the core of all of the stories that we cover. COVID-19, it is a result of the political nature of this country. We are so far gone as a nation. We are so far removed from reality. We are so far removed from common sense that there is a portion of this country that's willing to die because of the conspiracy theories around COVID-19 versus the hard science that could have protected and saved so many lives. That is the nature of the absurdity that is the American government and the American political system. We're gonna be talking about those issues a lot more as the year goes on, but we're also gonna be shifting and talking about other issues that are pertinent to our community. We're gonna be talking about culture, about life, about all the things that you need to know every single morning as you get ready to go to the job. And while you're driving, while you are watching, we intend on making a space that is enjoyable. Because as a person who's covered this, I don't know how many of you have followed me or how long you follow my work. I've been doing this political commentary, political journalism work for, I guess, over a decade. And those who have been following me all that time, you know that we're in this fight for real. People commit to this community. It's not just the people who are on air every morning. Shout out to everyone in the chat rooms, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, all of the different platforms. Those of you who are listening to the podcast, you have been going on this journey with me since day one, when we started off with nothing more than two listeners on our original podcast. No matter when you tuned in to the Benjamin Dixon show or the Benjamin Dixon morning show, like it or not, or on the clock, you know that we're out here doing this because we mean it. I Shout out to Georgia Ford, Georgia, who is out across the country, particularly in Minnesota, bringing light to all of the injustices that are happening in our criminal justice system. Rebecca Azor, we're in a space where Black women are easily dismissed um, and not taken as seriously as, well, you should, because when a Rebecca Azor speaks, everyone should listen. And then shout out to my DJ, DJ Exclusive, who not only brings us music and joy and helps our community stay together, but I mean, the brother knows what he's talking about. And so I'm just excited to have all of these brilliant minds around us every single day. And I'm so excited to have you, the listener, uh, participating in the show with us. What's going to happen going forward? Starting in February, we're excited about our partnership with ACT TV. We have been partnering with them for about five or six months now, and I I am convinced that it is these type of strategic partnerships that is going to help leverage progressive media voices. Um, any of you who've been in this space, um, you know there are a lot of progressive media voices, but all of us need amplification because we're in a fight against institutions. We're in a fight against big money. Can we just can we just be real? The reason the level of absurdity is so ridiculous in this country, 
the reason conspiracy theories seem to get more traction than scientific data, it is because there is so much money in this country that is just being poured into protecting a conservative mindset, even if that means costing you your life by ignoring the vaccine. All of these things are inextricably linked. The, our inability to get anything done in Washington, D.C. We've been talking at length about the voting rights uh, attack from the conservative movement and the inability for the United States Senate to protect our fundamental democratic right, which is to vote. The reason that is the case is because there's so much money in politics. That is the nature the fundamental nature of our broken system, money in politics, money controlling everything. And above the money is the greed, the pure, unadulterated, unfettered greed. We have enshrined in this country at the very top of our political hierarchy, our economic hierarchy, and indeed our moral hierarchy, we have enshrined greed. At the top of everything, politicians will ignore the lead pipes in Flint, Michigan because of greed. Politicians will ignore the working conditions of people making $8 an hour throughout the entirety of the pandemic because of their personal greed and because of the greed of their donors, the corporations. Every aspect. We could take this over to our criminal justice system or our criminal injustice system. You have to understand the reason Black people are facing militar militarized forces on the streets is because of the money attached to the military industrial complex. We don't have Humvees and tanks running down our streets simply because of an ambitious mayor in a city. No, it's because of a program where cities are now getting equipment from the Pentagon all rooted, defense contractors getting their money, getting paid at the top of our moral hierarchy, at the top of our political hierarchy, and at the top of our economic hierarchy. Everything about this system is rooted in greed. And somebody tell me, how do we expect to be in any other situation than the one that we are in right now, when every aspect of this system has been designed to not only capitulate to greed, but to literally serve greed? because you know, you gotta get that money, right? You gotta get that bag. At the end of the day, that's where we are. We are in a position where we are suffering as a nation, as a people, as a species, this entire planet. We can extrapolate just not just the United States of America, but this is happening globally. The willingness to watch millions of people die of this pandemic because they needed you to be able to go to work at Hooters. They needed you to be able to go and eat at Applebee's. They needed you to never be afraid enough of dying of this pandemic to stop going out and consuming and buying junk. That, without question, is the fundamental problem in how we got here with nearly 900,000, soon we'll be at a million Americans, not to mention the nearly 6 million globally. There's nobody on this planet who could tell me that we had to lose a million Americans. And the only reason that it makes sense, the only reason it adds up is because at the end of the day, the most powerful people in this country have absolutely no regard for the well-being of the people who buy their junk, of the people who watch their movies, of the people who serve in their districts, of the people who are their constituents. One last example, One, the, the only real piece of legislation that I saw passed on the state level in the state of Georgia as it pertains to COVID-19, the one sign, if you're in Georgia, you already know where I'm getting ready to go. The one sign that I saw everywhere, that you still see everywhere to, the, to this day, that gives you a warning about the nature of COVID-19, the one sign, that you will see everywhere in the state of Georgia as it pertains to a warning about COVID-19 is the fact that if you come into this place of business, the business owner cannot be sued for you dying of COVID-19. The only people who have been properly protected in this pandemic have been the wealthy. 
and their financial interests and the financial interests of our oligarchs and the political leaders who make investments into companies that make profits off of the cure for COVID-19. Um, it's Freedom Friday, and the way I want to spend my Freedom Friday first is by thanking and saluting everyone at the Benjamin Dixon Morning Show because we've got work to do, and we can't do it without you. So go to patreon.com forward slash the BPD show, uh, patreon.com forward slash like it or not, become a patron, support what we do. When we come back, we're going to jump into the news. The rest of the team is going to join us. There's so much more from the Benjamin Dixon Morning Show coming up right after this. Set the potato, the bite of the heart. 